bones. Okay, to get started, we have a project. Oops, we're going to file import, actually. Import. And we're going to import the lesson file. Mine's located on my hard drive in a very unique spot, so pay no attention. Yours is on the DVD, which is so easy to find. And it's lesson 13, Dragonfly. Okay, so this is what we're going to start with. And to really get started, uh, let's look at how things are broken up. In this way, you know, we have the wings that are kind of as one part. I'm going to separate these out. Separate. And then I'm going to modify center pivot and edit delete by type history and then we'll save the scene right away okay all right now to get started we're going to end up um, kind of adding to this a little bit. Keep in mind I'm skipping a few steps, you know, the texturing process and just going right into bones. And the reason for that is we use bones every once in a while in modeling to kind of manipulate the creature in different ways and it bones make a great modeling tool. There's no doubt about it. So, in here, let's go to animation, let's go to bones and let's kind of look at the hierarchy of bones now I'm a very unique animator in the fact that in most cases I will stick the root bone outside the body this leads to an easier workflow later on in some game engines okay so I'm just gonna keep it outside the body and then I'm gonna put the next bone here I'll produce with the bone tool here here, 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 and here. Okay, good. And then I'm going to go back with the bone tool by clicking on it. Click on this one. And then click here, here. and I'm putting one on every one of these edge loops just like that alright now the legs the legs are very easy I start out by going to the select tool and back to the bone tool and I'm going to click on this leg then I'm going to jump into the front view which is actually the side and I notice the mesh is a little off correlating to the bones okay well let's just start drawing in this and then we'll kinda look at that so let's click here click here and I think this bends right here if not it's got one now and here and here. Now you notice these bones are starting to get big correlating to the small type of geometry that's in the actual mesh. Well, that's very easy to fix. We have a thing called display, animation, joint size. And we can lower the joint size down, make it even, making it even easier to place the joints inside the mesh alright so this body what I want to do is center this up a little bit and you can see it's no big deal to actually move these around you want to move them you don't want to rotate them you want to move them into place okay 
Now I see this is the Z axis that's crossing over here. So I can show you this animation. Skeleton mirror joint square box. And since that is negative Z, that means Z is in the equation and what I'm looking probably for is the ability to mirror it in Y and X. Yep. X and Y, sure enough. So if I go like this, grab this bone right here, and hit apply, should mirror it over to the other side. Okay, so now that I did the first leg, now we got to just do the other ones. Again, look at what I'm doing. I'm always jumping into a view with bones. So this time it's my front view, which is actually my side. And in here, I'm going to click in this area. Jump into my other view. And I'm going to move that into position. Now, getting a hold of it is a whole different story. So if you go in here four on the keyboard, you can grab it here. It's a little easier than trying to grab it here. <laughs> okay, so now I can move that. W on the keyboard. Move it over here. And now I'm going to try to uh, make the other legs. Now it's going to be pretty difficult in the fact that I have to keep jumping into views. Jumping into this view then jumping back into this view to complete out the leg. Okay. Again. Going into this view. Then going into this view. Just like that. And I can mirror those two legs over. One at a time, it looks like. Don't want to confuse the Maya. So, so far we have this. Now, meet me in the next video. I think I'm running out of time where we can complete this adventure.